So there you are, you're using hard ops, playing around, just adding the blank material, you go in edit mode, and you try to add a blank material in edit mode, and you find that you don't have that feature because your hard ops is out of date. So, you know, we could always go on box cutter and just play around here, but our box cutter is out of date because we don't have release lock, and I like playing with release lock to look at the cut that I'm doing. So let's say that we wanted to update hard ops, but we didn't want to disrupt our configuration here. So instead of going under file preferences and installing the add-on here, which I would not recommend if you're actually familiar with your computer and your blender install, it's actually easier to just delete the folders and transplant it. So by holding down the windows button and pressing R, we can type in the percent app data percent blender foundation blender slash 282 script slash add-ons. And whenever we go there, it'll actually bring us directly to our add-on location where we can just select box cutter and hops and just delete them. And we'll just drag over the new hops that I already downloaded prior to making this video. And we'll update box cutter as well. So now if I go in and open Blender from Steam because I'm wanting to use the official Steam version for this demonstration, we see that Blender loads up and everything's just fine. Of course, uh, Blender always places Blender where I don't need it. But if we tab into edit mode, or actually we can add a blank material here, and now we can select these faces and add a blank material in edit mode, which is what this latest update was all about. But that's how easy it is to update hard ops if you already have a configuration that you're a big fan of. You can also see that if I go into box cutter, I now have release lock. So if I control click it, I can go in here and just quick execute and just draw very quickly. And then if I shift click it, I now have this behavior back, which just lets me cut boxes like cakes. It's just such a fun way to work. And that is it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys how to just quickly update hard ops without messing up your installation because install from file is, is one of those things that you use if you're a new user or just wanting to use how blender does things but it's really much easier to just drag the folder into the folder after deleting the previous two folders and so with that we'll wrap this video up and i'll see you guys next time